Hey guys, it's Corrales. Welcome back everybody to City Skylines. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. And if you do enjoy, as always, smash the like button and leave some nice feedback in the comment section, all right? Please do. So previous episode, we detailed the nuclear power plant. Is it done? No, 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 no. Far, far, far from done. But we're gonna jump away from this for, for some time. We're gonna do something else in today's episode. Maybe not like a project project, but definitely something people have been looking forward to, right? But man, I, I like this so much. I don't want to go away. But, well, okay, just for a few episodes, we're gonna get back and kind of finish this. I still kind of need to kind of figure out what happened here. Oh no, it broke. Something broke here. Because there's a beautiful bunker. Now this looks like this. Who who destroyed this? I don't know. We need to fix that. Because that... that mm, no, no, mm, no bueno. Anyhow, in today's episode, we're going to move away to this area. Over here. And we're going to start, like, not the downtown downtown, but the, the, the suburbs before the downtown. And previous season, alright? Previous season when I was playing... Let's, let's build that up. Like a little temporal. Previous season when I was playing this game, and uh, I loved those buildings. I liked them so much. It was the the what are you gonna call them? The the Brooklyn buildings. People, you know, there's gonna be mixed opinions about those. But when my city broke broke or save broke previous season, I was so sad that I didn't really had the time to finish it. So we're gonna be doing. Let me just see here. Those buildings. No, not only those buildings, we're gonna mix them up. And now people are gonna be like, hey, are we doing are gonna do gonna do zoning? No. Everything I'm gonna do here, which is not gonna be maybe just a huge part of it, but it's gonna be replaced by hand. Because I don't wanna zone, because then I need to go through, delete buildings, and so on and so on. So I've grabbed quite a few of those. If you get into that little like design here, uh search for the Brooklyn uh, building collection by who make it? Who who make it? You know what? I think I've got something uh, which says the person's name. Let me just Felblin. No, not performer. Find a uh, build. Find build. Search for the Steam Workshop for the Brooklyn Brooklyn Collection by Find Build. F find. That's, I, I'm I'm horrible with names. Sorry, buddy. All right, but they are they are so cool. And then just kind of like. Placing them hand by hand, building by building, and making it look absolutely smashing. Especially like in a big scale scenario. Oh my god, look, chimneys in background is going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. I think this is going to be the way we're going to go, alright? So, for today's episode, I'm planning to at least zone out, not zone out, build road systems around this little, like, this part, I guess I would say. And then we're going to continue moving towards where the downtown is going to be. Maybe somewhere around here. Because I do want to touch the coastline with the downtown with less, the skyscrapers and stuff. Because it's going to look so sweet. Maybe like a like semi-seaport over here. Maybe just for passenger ferries or something, all right? We're going to figure that out. But one thing which I need to show you guys, all right? I'm not, I don't think I'm going to place it today. But in the coming stages is a train station. I've got this ginormous, I think it's from Kansas City, the Kansas City Union Station. This is a work of art when it comes to, okay, it's really hard to see it at the front. You know what, let's just do this. This is how usually my episodes go. I show off stuff in the beginning of episodes, but just in case people are, people are like searching for stuff on the team machine and can't find good stuff. The, why is you occupied already? What? Why is this being occupied? Building already exists. Oh, it's a unique one. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see, I see, I see. I don't have the model which can uh, disable that. But look at this. I mean, what a beautiful building. The Kansas City Union Station. What is this? A hole? There's a hole over here. And it's got like how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is 16 train tracks because i think they don't go through right do they oh they go through. okay they go through okay i, I thought like there was like, kind of like a middle part and um, there was like eight from this side eight from this side but it's actually eight and i'm thinking like if we build a downtown man we might need to tweak that little like highway over here but if we would build a downtown here right like the, the skyscrapers could maybe even squeeze it in here because i mean it's already who's this it already got like what four train tracks here so it would not be impossible that would be a thing but what i'm going to be using in today's episode is the metro line since we got the mod which can enables us to have them above ground we're going to be using stuff like this 
This one over here is something which I kind of I'm kind of fond of. Like I've used those in the previous season, the um, the one, but it was for train connections. I think it was right. The New York elevated uh, stations one is faint builds street and this is the performer street so there's just a little bit color variation but then i found this one which I'm, i just popped down which was this one over here the classic elevated metro station featuring a, a classic style from cities in motion i i'm really fond of this i think this looks like a perfect situated train station because it, it's elevated, I guess, right? But it's going to be really cool to use. And then what we're going to do is just extend those metro lines above ground. And you might be, why? Well, because I love seeing trains and having metro going underground. We will have that as well, don't get me wrong. But just seeing the trains swishing by in between buildings, it's just special. And the cool thing about it, like, since now I got that, previous season I didn't have the, the movie mod, right? But now it, it exists. The cool thing is, since those come with like uh, custom streets with the, with the movie mod, we can select the nodes, delete those uh, things, and put our own streets underneath, which we kind of desire. Like, it doesn't matter which street we use, we can just put it down. Like, we can use big streets if, if that was the case. So it's going to be really cool. But enough talking. I've been talking, why do I always talk so much? I don't know. Everybody, I'm sorry. That is something we're going to be kind of focusing on in today's episode. Why is this another thing? There we go. Delete that. But Kansas City Union Station. What a beautiful structure. So that is, yeah, I think we need to have it. I think we need to have it here. That will be looking so sweet. In the future. In the future. But enough talking. Enough talking. It is time for me to start building some. And uh, I don't want to go away from this, but I'm forced to. Everybody, enjoy the time lapse. I'm going to see you guys as soon as possible.
And welcome back, everybody. So, I think, all right, I think this is quite a good start. I'm really happy how it turned out, especially like not zoning it, but placing the buildings hand by hand just to get like those different variations going on the buildings and just to make it, I don't know, less generic, I guess uh, I would say. But for today, this is gonna be it. You've seen a short time lapse we've had. You know kind of how it looks but now it's just get up close and personal okay this is a little bit not done yet here and this is gonna kill me but uh, look at this it's gonna collide with a little booth well actually maybe not no we have an inch to spare no we don't man that kind of kills me i kind of wanted to have like a real train station down here so i just had to kind of like a little bit of a compromise going on here but this is using the brooklyn the Manhattan collection and also I think Chicago what I'm planning is because you can see here like it, it, it's it's something this is just here just so I don't, don't forget about the Kansas Union Station right but I, hmm, I'm thinking like this because now it's gonna look a little bit like very like 
not as as organic, uh, if you know what I mean. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe make more stuff around here, just in the beginning here. And I've been thinking about here, what we could use is maybe, I think Bronx, I think I got some Bronx, build, uh, Bronx buildings as well. Having like a little bit of grid patterns using those houses here. Like small grids, uh, just all the way here. Because at the end of the day, it kind of comes up to like filling in the gaps. Because from air, we do have a lot of gaps. We have gaps here, 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 here. Just kind of tying it together. I'm going to keep the green spaces, I think, in most places. Because bushes, I mean, everybody loves bushes, right? So we're going to keep the green spaces. But just kind of fill in like those gaps, bits and pieces. Just to make it look uh, pretty, pretty darn amazing. So let's just get down on ground level. And trains, yes, look at it. We got them and it's working. People are actually using it. So this makes me super happy. And it's so neat kind of seeing them above ground. As I, as I mentioned in the beginning of the episode, we're going to kind of have the, the, the metro metro, underground metro, and then we're going to have those just above ground. Because if you look at Brooklyn, there's actually like train tracks going through it. Like New York itself is kind of like train tracks going. And especially like having... Can I just jump down? There we go. Having... That's something I did in the previous season as well, having like elevated roads and whatnot. This is the train tracks. But look how sweet that looks. Can, just imagine this in the future when there's buildings on both sides. I don't think we have. Let me just see here. Do we have any... No. Not really. Like we do have some buildings around here, but it's super dark and scary and needy. But it still looks so cool. <laughs> People are just flying up to the train station. Uh, how you do you guys do that? Did you see those? Well, they're definitely using it, but they're just semi-flying up to it. Whee! <laughs> okay, maybe I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but uh, it's the only game. Why you have to be mad, all right? One thing which I think is quite neat. Let me just show you around here. I've placed this building here, and I just noticed this, like, beautiful graffiti on the side. And I was like, we can't really hide that away. So this is kind of like a neat feature, just having like a parking lot, just to reveal the graffiti. And I think there's more buildings having it, so we need to do stuff like that in the future as well, because it just looks so nice having it just opened up. Do we have any... Oh yeah, we do have a parking lot here, but let me just see here. Do those guys have any graffiti on the side? Nope, no. It would be kind of cool, but look at that. They're shabby. Well, semi-shabby, but... It, I don't know. There's something special about them. I loved them in the previous season. I do love them now. So what I'm doing here is just grid patterns. Semi-grid patterns in different like yeah, angles and whatnot. And then filling that in with like rows in between. And then maybe adding some little like bits and pieces like parking lots and whatnot. Because that definitely comes, uh, comes, comes to life. And just having stuff. Especially like in those like courtyards. Uh, in between the houses, as, as here, for example, we do have a little basketball court. And uh, yes, there's going to be more bushes in the future. Why am I not like, ew, I'm having this house. That's why I'm just lagging. Okay. I was like, why? What? What's going on? I can't really move. Now I can move. All right. So we have some ba basketball courts. I think we're going to add some more bushes and just some green areas within that perimeter. But for the moment, how did that car get here? What is it even? Is it like a Chevy? Chrysler, Chevy, I, I, I don't know, all right? It's, it's, it's a car, it's a car. As you see here, this road over here is a little bit dark and that is, uh, that is glitched. Um, so beyond, be, let me just go here, you can't see anything. Let's just do this. Let's go to about here. There we go. Can you guys see stuff now? Oh, <laughs> why didn't I do this before? All right, you can see stuff clearly, all right? I can see stuff on my screen, but then... Uh, I guess rendering the video it just gets a little bit darker when it's kind of like an MP4 um, container and whatnot. But here, underneath the... Be well, I'm not underneath, but behind this wall, there's just a glitch because those roads are too close to each other and it's just too steep. Therefore, this road becomes a little bit glitchy and a little bit dark. I'm not really sure we can hide it away somehow because I don't think decals or decals are going to do anything to it. But as you can see, we do have a little train station here which is used by people so it just goes through here and it goes out here so you can there's a lot of trains damn it's coming to life and i love it just imagine this with the houses oh yeah there's the graffiti again now we can see it see this is what i mean just having this little building here and the parking lot and 
I don't know. It just pops out. Small, small things in life, right? Small things in life. Detroit Fire Station. The Detroit Fire Station. I couldn't use it previously, but now it is here and it looks quite pretty. It just fits the theme. And I think... Whereabouts is it? Here, for example. I'm not exactly sure this is going to be fitting here. But that is a police station, obviously, all right? Those people. What are you doing? In oh, she's dabbing. Dabbing outside the police station. But this is an elderly home, uh, this building over here. It is just, I don't know what it's called in the Steam Workshop, but it's a small elderly, elderly home, which acts as a little hospital thingy, right? So it's quite neat as well, because... Design-wise, I think it fits quite nicely. What is this person doing up here? Oh, he's on his iPad or whatnot. Is there a... Okay, this is... Hello? Can place a tree down here, I guess, in a bush, but nobody's gonna see it. And that's what I'm thinking about, you know, as, as I said, like, we're gonna have tons of stuff in the, within the, like, big courtyards, but those small ones, like here, for example, this is kind of like something from the building itself, so I'm not gonna touch it, but it just would be unnecessary just placing a lot of props because nobody's gonna see it, and it's just gonna lag the game to bits in the end. But now we can see the city! Hopefully you guys can see it now. This is what I mean about, about the different elevations when hand-placing buildings. It just looks so nice. And it's buzzing here. It's so sweet. There's a little shoppy on the corner with all those trolleys outside. I don't know. This game, man, this game. It is uh, definitely something. So that is what I've been doing in today's episode. Just mainly laying out the big, the big plans. And I think we're going to progress, make buildings... Uh, higher or taller as 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 we move closer to like the big big downtown because this is mainly as i mentioned before i think this is mainly like the brooklyn collection some of the manhattan, manhattan buildings as well but uh, a lot of the manhattan buildings are much much taller so i think we're just gonna go boom 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 and skyscrapers boom 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 and skyscrapers yeah, i think that's gonna be it everybody let me know what you think about this, all right? This is far from done, as you can see. We need to have some walls on the sides here. Uh, but, uh, or maybe even just some, some shrubbery. Those are a little bit like, like hanging off the cliff if you watch the time lapse. You know, just, they kind of hang over the cliff and then I just added some overpasses here to save them. However, we should push them back down further into the ground, but I don't think we can because. Nah, this is the. No, that's not gonna be possible. I don't know. It's just so cool just, just being on ground level, just checking out the, all the peeps, peoples walking about. Oh, we don't have any education here. That might be a little bit bad. How many people live in the city now? 7.4k. Don't, don't judge me, right? This is, what, episode 17, and we have 7,000 people. But there's a lot of thought going into this, right? And just imagine, as we expand this, it's going to be like people in no time just coming in and, and striving and just doing their like daily businesses, I guess. I don't know, there's so much to see. Especially like on those buildings. I've just been placing buildings. I haven't really been like paying attention to all the like details and decoration on them. Oh, you know what? Let me just see here. Night scenario. Before we say goodbyes. Oh man. That is beautiful. Even Graffiti Lady. We should maybe even add like a little like a spotlight on her. That would be quite neat. What is up here? Ew! Fancy people. I, I doubt anybody's going to be using this train track or this train station for the moment. But that is something which I could recommend you. Plan out your train connections before you like build the whole thing. Because in the previous season I kind of forgot about that and then I had to do it in... in well, after I've placed all my buildings, and it's just a pain in the butt deleting everything. I love it! Everybody, this is Kiralis. Thank you so much for watching. Might not be as much in this episode, but definitely some, some bits and pieces and progress. Oh man, this looks sweet! See you guys in the next one, alright? Smash the like button, have a very, very, very nice day. What is this tree? Is it Americana? It is so, yeah, that kind of sucks when it kind of reverse like that. But what? What to do? What to do? 
I mean, we could maybe build some going around tracks so they kind of go forwards. And people just picking up their cars out of their pockets here. I don't understand this. Should maybe add like, a, like an underground garage over here. Because that would kind of seem, seem ideal for the task. Because now they just get out of the train station. Ew. Oh, you know what I had? Which I I don't know if... Did I do that in the, in the time lapse? I don't think I did. I have those elevators. Uh, elevator. Uh, underground elevator. I tried it, but I couldn't seem to get any people using it. Because it's just basically a little thing, right? Like a little, like, bing, 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 bada, bing, bada, boom. And there's, like, different ones with which comes with, like, uh, fences around and, and whatnot. But... But the thing about this is that it is a little path underneath, as you can see. It's not the ideal path, it's pretty steep, right? People are gonna die. But it doesn't really matter, because this is just the whole thought. Don't save now, I'm trying to showcase stuff. Okay, okay, stay. it's saving. Let it just wait. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Come on, save. I, I, have, I have to have auto-save, because the game has crashed for me for far many times and I've lost a lot of progress. But yeah, this is something which is kind of like a little path, underground passage. Uh, so it should be used like that. Problem is, I did it one here, but I didn't make it. It didn't work. People would wouldn't, wouldn't be using it, so I'm not really sure how to operate. Because it would be just kind of cool having like one of those elevators here, and then having just a little underground passage, and then maybe having like a, like a semi derpy door type of frame over here, or just like a tunnel going in. But I didn't didn't work for me. I don't know. I was sitting there watching those people, but uh, everybody was just no, not, not having it. So if anybody knows how to operate it, maybe, you know what, maybe it is like this. Maybe this is how it works. Like having those two, this is maybe just a little like underground passage type of dealio, which just works like, yeah, like in between, uh, hello, in between those two. Because that might be the case. So people go up, go down here, go under the green down, come up here. Is that the case? Because... Mm, well, then, hmm, I don't know. All right, let me see. Are you going to be using this? Well, it would be unnecessary, but uh, is anybody going to go in here? No, nobody's like, no, not having it. I, I, I just don't know. If anybody knows, please do let me know in the comment section because I would love to have like a little elevation or elevator going down here instead of people going from the train and going all the way around here in those little, little, little like masses of people. It is not pretty. Why is the train track going so high? We need to have a wall here as well. See? It's not done yet. But yeah, now they have to go all the way around and into the city. So having something here would be just ideal. Everybody, sorry, I said like bye like ages ago. Bye bye. See you guys in the next one. Smash the like button. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration, alright? But it's coming along. We're starting it. The big, big city. Bye bye.